Hey there, this is Christy, and welcome this, to this reading for the lunar week of March 28th through April 4th, moving into a new moon in Aries on April 5th. And apologies to if anyone who had watched, had tried to watch the earlier version of this video. Um, I, <laughs> this is what you get if you boldly say that you appreciate Mercury retrograde, <laughs> which I did. I admit it. And um, what happened was I had been interrupted in the middle of that video and had shot it in two parts. And each part was fine. Each part had the, the sound audio with it. And so I spliced them together. And no matter what I did, I actually posted it because the first part, the first minute or so, the sound was fine and um, then the sound cut out. And for whatever reason, the splicing together just, I couldn't get it together, which I'm really ticked about because it was a really cool reading. But that's the way life goes sometimes and I think this reading will be just as cool or cooler. So let's hit it. And but also I just want to, maybe this is to give me a chance to express like deep gratitude to everyone who has supported this channel. And we just hit a thousand likes um, last week. I am super excited for next month. I'm going to be uploading um, daily uploads in the month of April. And thanks also to everybody who has liked, subscribed, who has ordered um, sign up for sessions. Uh, it really helps and I love and appreciate all of you. So thank you so much. Um, before I do the reading, just a few words about the energy uh, right now that we're, we're dealing with in this week. Um, we just came out of a, a, a huge Pisces wave uh, last month um, with the sun in Pisces and there was a new moon in Pisces last month. We had a Mercury retrograde in Pisces. Mercury, by the way, stations direct uh, tomorrow on the 28th, thank goodness. Um, and so that was a lot of water energy that got um, kind of flushed up a lot of stuff. A lot of watery emotions coming up, a lot of kind of moving through emotions, healing stuff, like deep stuff. There was a lot of deep healing and there was a lot of heart opening in toward the end of it. So we, we just sort of like in this period of deep heart, heart opening and now we're moving into um, the Aries season, so not just the sun moving into Aries, but we've got the new moon coming up in Aries, and what I'm feeling in the collective is um, just kind of a, a healing and a coming forward of Divine Masculine. Um, and this is, like, don't confuse this with Dark Masculine that we've all been kind of suffering under for several centuries. This is the light aspect of Masculine. It's powerful. And it's really the, 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 all the healing of the Divine Feminine that's been taking place over the past few decades. You know, obviously there's lots of healing left to do, but there's been a lot, like a lot, a lot that's been, you know, that we've been moving through as a collective. And that's opening the doors now for the Divine Masculine to start coming forward, forward for healing. So this is a really big thing happening. This is huge. And if you've been feeling a lot of energy lately, that's part of it. This is a really big shift and very important one. Okay, so, all right, but with it, in all this stuff, with the Pisces and the Aries and stuff, what we have is fire and water. A lot of fire and water energy moving into fire energy. Okay, and so the painting I chose for the background for this is actually a collage that I did a couple years ago, and it has a lot of that fire and water. The, the, I, I was given a prompt for this one to do kind of phoenix energy and solar plexus energy, so that's what this kind of has that in it, and that's really what's happening uh, right now. Just a lot of um, this kind of solar plexus um, kind of... Uh, I'm feeling this is a energy, a lot of stuff that's happening with people learning to or stepping into their power, right? Um, becoming more autonomous. And that's a big part of what the Divine Masculine is about, is finding your autonomy, finding your personal truth in alignment with Divine Truth, okay? Um, so this is kind of like really, really very powerful energy and um, 
with that fire and water, what you can get sometimes, because again, we're still on the tail end of all this, this Pisces stuff coming up, we've got this kind of boiling action happen, happening. So if you've been experiencing a lot of drama in the past week, um, yeah, there's been a lot. Uh, you know, I've seen just a lot of people, uh, just emotions kind of come into the forefront, people being triggered. Um, and I'm expecting that this is probably, we're gonna see more of this this coming week as well. And so just kind of stay aware of that. Be aware of um, it's a it's a good time to be super super aware and conscious of emotions both yours and others as they're as they're coming up. Um, I'm looking at this here and it's really mirroring what I'm feeling, and I'm seeing a lot of fire, a lot of fire, uh, still a lot of water. I'm feeling a lot of air that's kind of stirring up this stuff, um, but not a lot of earth. Okay, so. <laughs> What this is telling me is like right now that things, conditions are ripe to be volatile and this could be good or bad, okay, like good or bad, whatever. I mean, this can play out in positive ways if we're maintaining awareness around it, okay? And part of that maintaining awareness is noticing when things are starting to get really volatile to bring it down to earth, okay? Get grounded. Um, some ways to ground. Breathing is a huge one. Like, you know, that whole thing about three deep breaths. Well, you might want to take 20 deep breaths. This, this you know, it, it might come to that. And that really is a good grounding way. Um, if you have a lot of this fire energy in you, um, a lot of like this impulse to action, which can be really good. But if it feels like it's getting out of control, um, you might want to exercise. Because like exercise, like hard exercise, um, you know, running, lifting weights, something like that can really help to burn off the excess that we can um you know control this energy and use it in a way that's going to be helpful to us okay um and oh like another thing that my guides have kind of Give me, give me a heads up with is is eating how you eat um my guides personally told me they said you know you might want to eat a little bit more denser foods because for me sometimes if that's a good way to ground um usually i'm really all about salads and fresh fruits and veggies but this week i've been eating more like meat and potatoes all the way i've got like oven fries baking right now <laughs> so um that that can be helpful for, you know you know your body best but if you find that you're really feeling volatile okay so this uh this week i'm going to use a combination of two decks i'm going to use my spirit animal deck spirit animal awareness cards i'm also going to draw on the deck um, from doreen virtue the archangel oracle cards uh, we all know that doreen has gone off on her own orbit but i still really love her cards um i was uh, we had the in marquette michigan where i'm at we had the spring holistic fair the annual big holistic event um this this past weekend and um I'm, i've got a, a meetup group that i started last year um, that is just meetups for light workers in the market area so if you are in Marquette um, look us up market light workers collective um, but I was just giving readings just kind of for free associated with that um, last Saturday and had, we had a bunch of decks out was asking people to just choose the deck that they liked. A couple of people chose this one and we got really great readings from it. And I just had another one today that I did for somebody um, that utilized these cards, actually the same combination of cards that was really instructive. So we're gonna, oh, this one fell out. Let's just use that one. I'm gonna do a four card spread here with those. It'll be interesting to see if any of the same cards from last time pulled up because that I've noticed that happens sometimes if I have to redo a reading. A lot of times the same cards will pop up even if I shuffle really, really well. So um, we'll see what happens. Okay, and then this one is my spirit animal deck. And the reason I'm doing this is that the angels and the spirit animals, the angelic realm is really more spirit. The, the spirit animals tend to be a little bit more grounded and a little bit more practical. Um, so I like this combination for right now. I'm getting kind of both of that. Um, with these. And let's draw a couple cards, see what wants to come forward. Yeah, 
I see volatile, I'm volatile. That's my dog. And she's not happy that I'm doing this so late, so just chill. Yes, you're okay. Okay. All right. So this is kind of a, a little bit of a, a four directions idea. Let's start with this one. East in. Okay. So this isn't the same card as, as before, but it's big. So it's kind of. All right. Um, the first thing I'm getting is sting. Okay. So again, when we get triggered emotions, it can cause a stinging reaction. Okay. Like this. Um, you know, it's it's really easy to lose your temper, or if somebody else is losing your temper, okay? And really, the antidote to that is compassion. There's the heart in there. Okay, so this is um, just a reminder this coming week that emotions can be running really high, and just to kind of key, stay in that heart space. Stay in that heart space this week, especially. I mean, we always want to do that, but this week especially. Um, keep in mind that everybody out there, like everybody's got their wounds, and those wounds are being triggered for a lot of people because of all this volatility coming up, and that just kind of don't take two things too seriously, right? Bees sting because they think somebody is attacking their home. Right? So just, um, there's a wonderful little saying or mantra that my mentor uh, is, you know, really kind of hammered into me. It's what's mine is mine, what's yours is yours. So part of this autonomy idea is to recognize that other people's stuff is their stuff. Okay? So if somebody's coming at you with, in like, kind of the stinging kind of energy, um, just recognize they're dealing with their stuff. And just like what's mine is mine, what's yours is yours. Let it kind of flow off your back. You know, just have some compassion. Like, don't let them like bulldoze you. Don't let them, you know, step over your line. Know where your boundary is. But you can draw that line and hold the boundary without counter attacking. You don't have to attack. Just kind of hold that, right? Um, and if you like, just think of martial artists like. Uh, judo where they come at the attacker instead of actually fighting back they either step aside or they manage to kind of like the, the person just kind of uses their they, they they move in such a way that the person's own energy to kind of deflects them right so that they're not actually expending their energy they're not getting angry they're just kind of deflecting um, so this is a really good way to practice that kind of thing um, all right, spread your wings. All right, this is the other side of this energy, is that as long as we can stay on the light side, um, you know, on the positive side, staying positive, this is incredible energy for moving forward, right? There's a lot of proactive, think of the steam engine, right? Steam engine, full steam ahead. This is like if you have a project, if you've got a business idea, um, you know, if you've got even, and, and you have to be kind of trick carefully here, um, but as long as you stay in the positive, you know, new relationships are moving forward in relationships. It could be a really good time for that. Um, like maybe if you're starting a garden, planting seeds, really good time for that. Um, anything that is uh, moving forward, anything that you want to move forward, great time, but just keep like she says, don't hold back right now. Time is perfect. You're ready. So a lot of like this whole past year, especially this past month or whatever, a lot of the stuff that's been purged, you know, if you've been doing that work, you are ready. You know, you've kind of able to step over that, like kind of what I'm thinking right now, we had a lot, a lot of snow this winter. <laughs> it melted and just like when it melted, everything's kind of running down the street and we're seeing just like paths opening up, right? And it's just like, it's a great time for that. So watch for opportunities and take those opportunities. Don't hold back. Don't hold back this week as long as you're in that positive space, okay? This is um, the next one here. This is really mirroring what B says, okay? Um, staying grounded, that triangle there, um, really staying grounded, okay? Um, 
This is body, mind, spirit. Okay, we want to stay in the center. And this is kind of a reminder that if we, like if you find that your body is all tense and stuff, maybe time to meditate. Okay, um, if you find that your mind is racing, maybe check in with your body. Um, you know, if you find that you're kind of, you know, just all these things, just, just there's checks and balances. So keep, you know, and be very, very gentle with yourself, right? There's that dove, right? Compassion, gentleness, super important right now, um, you know, because there's a lot of sensitivity happening. And let's see what the last one is. This is patience, okay? So look at this. This is spread your wings, but look what she is surrounded by, okay? Compassion, peace, grounding, patience, all right? Um, so the patience card, she says your dreams are blooming more rapidly than you realize. They still need nurturing and patience. So this is like full steam ahead, but like, if you flip into impatience with that student full steam in ahead, um, it, it can really backfire, okay? So I'm actually gonna share with you something that, a little bit of the last reading. Um, I had drawn a blank card in one of my, in my deck, and uh, so that typically what I do when, I, when, when that happens is I tune in and see what, what, what animal wants to come forward. Um, so in this case, it was snake, but it was like snake climbing up a pole, just like in the caduceus, the, the healing, um, you know, wand that is held by Mercury or like it's associated, associated with the healing angel, Archangel Raphael. Um, so the snake um, and the snake also is, there's a huge amount of symbolism with snake, but what's coming forward here is that masculine aspect of snake. Um, that, that kind of moving forward, the regeneration, um, that uh, kind of resurrection, you know, the snake shedding its skin, and it, it's very solar, okay? A lot of solar energy here, a lot of that. And what he's doing is he's climbing up the pole, and I really got the impression he's looking out, he's getting clarity, okay? So what that is, is like, if there's something that you wanna move forward with, it's super important because fire and water together, they make steam, it can form a fog. It can be like, it can really, it can really mess you up because you're moving around in the fog and bumping into things and it can be very chaotic. So what he's saying is climb up above it, rise above, you know, get yourself some peace, come to center, get grounded, get rounded but rise above at the same time, look out and, and look beyond the just kind of chaos, figure out, you know, who you are, what you want, figure out what you want. Once your goals are clear, then when we move forward and have this kind of steam energy, that's going to really carry us where we want to be but look how far he's looking out okay this isn't necessarily something that's going to manifest right away it might if you've been really kind of putting all the ducks in a row until now this might actually be the week where things start to you know take off but don't count on it so like you know recognize that things do take time it's not necessarily like you might start to see it start to take off, but it might not get to its complete fruition where, where you're expecting or wanting it to be, you know, for a while yet. And I'm, I'm seeing it may be a few months, but this is really the start of something beautiful um, as long as we stay centered. Okay, so I think this is long enough. Thank you so much uh, for watching. Um, again, like, subscribe, you know, share if uh, you feel this has been helpful. And just take it real easy. Make sure you're hydrated this week. Be compassionate with yourself and with others. And have a lovely week. I'll catch you next time.